Hello, this is Kirsty Caldwell, resident artist at Carilion New River Valley Medical Center. Thank you for joining me today for this Haiku and Haiga activity kit demo. In his book, The Power of Now, spiritual teacher Eckhart Tolle writes about how healing happens in the present moment as opposed to the past or the future. I picked Haiku and Haiga as a therapeutic activity because they have a beautiful way of drawing the practitioner into the present moment, maybe because of their focus on nature and on small things that might otherwise go unnoticed. Haiku is a form of poetry practiced in Japan for hundreds of years. It first became popular in America in the 1950s. Because of the differences in the languages, haiku practiced in English is a modified version of the original Japanese form. However, there are four rules that allow us to honor the original spirit of haiku. Number one, the form is 17 syllables in all in a 575 format. Some people do not follow this strictly, but instead adopt a short, long, short pattern. Even Japanese poets did not always adhere to the 575 form. Number two, the subject concerns human experience or connection to nature. Seasons are often highlighted. Three, the subject is one specific event. And four, the event is happening now. Here are some examples of haiku in English. The fleeing sandpipers turn about suddenly and chase back the sea. Just as the 575 pattern is a guideline, other rules can be modified as well. For example, this haiku is about a past event, but the present emotion is captured. Spring came into my room. Black, work-worn hands bore gently the first blue iris. Haiga is a variation of haiku that includes a picture. Here you can see the haiku on the right side of the painting. Haiku and haiga can be experienced as a kind of meditation. Both haiku and haiga possess the same choice observation of nature. Each translates it through a different artistic language with spiritual immediacy and selfless skill until the artist has reached the state of no mind. Here is a Japanese haiga with English translation. Starry Night by Tomoda Sogyo. What a delightful game it is to set. Fireflies loose in bed beneath the net. Haiga has also evolved into a form called high fo, which is a photo capturing a moment in nature with an accompanying haiku. Late afternoon, colors lost in the blowman, ducks or gulls. My mother lived for many years in Japan working as an English teacher. One of her students taught her this technique of working with pastels. Because of its Japanese aesthetic, I thought it would combine nicely with haiku to form a haiga. This example was drawn years ago by my nephew Reese for my mother. January day, crows hunched over on branches waiting for the snow. Here's a page out of my new haiku journal. I chose number four for my haiga. It's fun to keep a journal, but if not, just composing one haiku is rewarding. Sometimes it's good to enjoy something just because, with no goal. In your kit, you will find a postcard 
of watercolor paper. The other items included are masking tape, pastels, and a marker. The first step is to create a border for the drawing by taping the edges of the canvas or card with masking tape. It is fine to draw on the masking tape as it will be removed at the end. The second step is to begin your drawing of your haiga as inspired by your haiku, capturing a moment you either experienced or imagined. In step three, you'll fill out the picture with pastels until you are satisfied that it's done. Fourth step is to peel away the masking tape, and voila, you have a perfectly framed drawing. In the last step, we add the haiku to the picture. With the postcard, you also have the option of writing the haiku in the message space on the back and sending it to someone you love. Here's an example drawn many years ago by my daughter where she used the margin left by the masking tape for her theme or text. You may also want to write your haiku first and draw your picture around it. Thank you for joining me today for this demo. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy your haiku and haiga activity kit. Just remember that when it comes to haiku, it's more important to capture the essence of the moment and be creative and have fun than it is to follow the exact form. Thanks again.